Okay, uh, hi Kay, do you usually set an alarm when you take trace? Um, I don't. I don't set the alerts. Usually, before I used to. Before I used to use alert, and whenever, whenever alert triggers, I come back to the chart and look for a setup, but now I don't. Um, the reason is because let's say when i when i'm reading a book or when i'm with someone or when i'm doing something else um i don't want to i don't want to be disturbed by these alerts so that's why that's one of the reasons why i don't set the alerts um but rather i simply come back to charts and screen and see what's happening see see if i can catch the taxi so yeah usually uh, yeah I don't see the alerts I don't see the alerts yeah <clears throat> yeah but this is just myself I think this is my preference if you want to see the alerts it's okay of course and it's uh, I think it's efficient time efficient to come back at the alerts but for me it's it's not really it's not really um, ideal. Yeah, I used to put alerts because uh, you know I I trade I monitor these uh, twenty one pairs on my watch list, and uh, when I set the alerts multiple alerts on multiple pairs, then I was too busy on the alerts. So that's why, yeah, and I feel formal when I put the alerts myself. Let's say if I'm outside, let's say when I'm driving the car, and if I see my alert on the monitor, then I may want to stop the car somewhere and check charts, maybe. So psychologically, I want to stay away from the charts whenever I'm not there. And that's basically the reason why I don't set the alerts. You know, in trading view, you can set different kinds of alerts. For example, if you want to uh, wait for this Kijun Sen up, right now it's up. But let's say if you want to wait for Kijun Sen flat, I think you can set the alert by right clicking on the, on the Kijun Sen and click on Add Alert on Ichimoku. And uh, you can you, you choose the um, baseline at the Kijun Sen and um, you choose a uh, move up move down I think yeah you can put the alert on one of these Ichimoku lines situations or um, yeah the the cross of the the price to uh, to these one of these lines trading view is really nice it's really functional but again for me I don't put the alerts I hope you enjoyed today's video and in last word I would like to add this one before ending the video today and that is improve step by step every day and never try to be successful tomorrow because oftentimes I see some traders comes to the forex market or in other markets and they try to be successful as soon as possible and that motivation is okay but uh, if you rush to make profits, if you rush to achieve some goal, then uh, you may fail very quickly. Because success only comes based on this continuation of the step-by-step -step effort, step-by-step -step improvement every day. So success does not relate to how much you know about the trades, how much you know about the indicators or the markets. The success only comes from this improvement continuously step by step so even when you're losing then look back your trace and look for the areas you can improve your trace and even if it is successful also look back your own successful trace and try to find an area to improve your trace maybe your profit might be a bit too early or your break-even timing might be a bit too early too or your stop loss was a bit too tight also so 
in both ways, whether it's a losing trace or winning trace, uh, please look back your own trace because that's the only way you can success in the long term. So thank you for watching until the end. If you liked it, please press the like button. And I will see you on the next one. So until then, please stay healthy and stay safe and stay gold. Bye for now. Mata ne. Thank you.